Today we're going to replace a quartz movement on a family heirloom. This is about three quarters of an inch thick, so we want to use a long shaft. It also has no hanger on the back, so we're going to want to use a movement hanger. And if you look carefully, you'll see when you install the movement hanger, it actually snaps down into the movement, into a little recess that there, especially for the hanger. Then we install a rubber washer, which helps us cushion and make sure we're not going to over tighten the movement when we install it. Now it's ready to go into the mounting hole. Next step is to install a brass washer and then a brass hex nut. We're going to tighten this hand tight and now a quarter of a turn. That way the movement will work properly because if you over tighten it, you can cause the movement to run slowly. You can also over tighten it so much that you can bring it to a stop. We're just pressing on our hour hand in about the 12 o'clock position. And now we're going to slide our minute hand on. And we're going to align the two flat sides on the hand with the two flat sides And there's a small round nut we're going to install. It looks just like this. And I've already got one into my tool here. And we decided to add a second hand. But before that, we're going to align the hands at the 12 o'clock position. And then we're going to install this crazy little second hand. It's called a squiggle hand for a pretty obvious reason. So all the hands are oriented at the 12 position. Then what we want to do is take a look and make sure they're parallel. Yes, they are. We're done. This is Mike Brossman for ClockParts.com. Thanks for watching. But if you have questions, call us at 888 827 2387 or send us an email. Just go to clockparts.com, the contact us section, shoot us an email with any questions or problems you're having, and if you want to, add some photos. We're always glad to help.